garlic parmesan ribs. I'm Greg from Stewie's Barbecue, and let me show you how it's done. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Stewie's Barbecue. Today we're doing some more ribs, but we're doing a rib recipe I've never done before. We're gonna do garlic Parmesan ribs. Now I've got two sets of ribs here. I'm not doing both in garlic Parmesan. The other one, I'm just doing a regular rib just with some uh, rub on it and some barbecue sauce on it. And then I'm going to do the other rib in the garlic Parmesan and we're gonna see how that turns out. And whether it turns out good or bad, I'm gonna let you know, because I've actually never done it before and I've never actually even had it before. So let's give it, a, give it a go. I'll go through the ingredients here in a bit. But first of all, I got these at Costco and I got to trim them up just a slight bit. Uh, they have trimmed them up somewhat, as you can see, so, like, but it's uneven in certain parts. Uh, this part has to come off and we got to get the membrane off the back as well. So let's get to doing that. So first things first, let's start with this one. And this one's got this great big flap on the side here. So I'm just going to trim that up real quick. So let's just spin the cutting board this way. And let's just even it up. That's nice. That flap's just going to burn anyway. That's all that's going to happen with that. So that looks nice. So let's give them a little trim on the end here as well. Kind of square that end up and then i've got quite a bit of fat here we don't want that to burn so we can get this down good sharp knife is always your best friend when it comes to stuff like this and then we can just get a little trim off that beautiful so now that looks a little bit more square, although I do want to get a little bit more off on this side. Hold on. Excellent. Okay. So that looks good. Now on the back, I've got a bit of a flap here. So let's just trim that down. And there's quite a bit of fat here. Let's see if I can just scoop that right off. All right, so everything's looking good. I've got this cleaned up quite well. Now it's time to get the membrane off the back with the St. Louis style cut ribs, which is what these are. They're a little tougher to get the rib off the back. Um, the with the pork, the baby, excuse me, the baby back ribs. Um, using that technique with the towel doesn't really work on these ones. These ones are a bit tougher, so I just like to get in there with a butter knife and just kind of loosen it up and then get my thumb in as much as I can. Try to get all the way across so there's nothing left. There we go. See, I still got a little lip here that I'm fighting with. So I St. Louis style, I love the ribs, but they're not my favorite for cleaning up. The pork back, baby back are much easier to clean up, but you get a lot more meat with these. Okay, that looks pretty good. And then we just got to rip off this side. Beautiful. Okay, so those are done except for this little piece here. I'm just going to grab with the knife. Nice. Okay, so those are done and they are ready to be 
slathered up in mustard and then rubbed. So let's get to this one. Switch these out. All right, so that's all done. I've got everything squared off. Everything looks good. It's time for it to rub. All right, so let's get the binder on. Perfect, okay. So this is the back side. So what we're going to do is I'm looking for a garlic. I need a garlic taste is basically what I need. I'm gonna get the Parmesan taste from the sauce that I'm gonna use later today, but I gotta get the garlic base down. So. One of the things I have that I really like is the Blanco. That's the newest one from Meat Church. It's got a real garlic bite to it, I find. So we're gonna hit this with a light coat and then we're gonna hit it with a heavy coat of something else. So let's get this on. And that's perfect. And then for the coat that's going to give us the red color, you know, that red shine, but also still contains some garlic in it as well. It's also going to give us a bit of garlic bite is the Holy Gospel from Meat Church as well. So let's get that on. This is going to be a heavy coat, though. Just a light coat with the Blanco, heavy coat with this. And like I said, this recipe is my own. I'm trying it for the first time and I'm really hoping it's gonna work out. All right, so that's good for the backside. Let's flip it over. Get the mustard on. We'll start with a light coat of the Blanco again. And then a heavy coat of the Holy Gospel. Okay, so now that I've got that down, let's just pat her down. Get this all in. Beautiful. Okay, so now I'm gonna do my second set of ribs, but these are gonna sit for about 30 minutes each, and then I'm gonna put them on the barbecue, excuse me, on the smoker. As always with my ribs, if you watch my first video, I do my ribs always the same way. So it's gonna be 300 degrees for two hours. And then in those two hours for every 30 minutes, I'm going to spritz them with apple cider vinegar and water. And then we're gonna bring them off and wrap them. So as you can see, they're all sweated out, ready to go. The smoker's at 300 degrees right now. And I am going to actually cook these different than the last video I did. I usually like my ribs at about 203. We're going to do them different today. We're going to go higher, going to go for a more tender, more flimsy rib. We're going to do about 207, 208 today. So let's get these on the smoker right now. All right, so it's been one hour. It's time for a spritz. I've got one part apple cider, three parts water in here. So I'm gonna do this again in 30 minutes and then at the two hour mark, and then we will wrap it.
Okay, so it's been two hours. I just pulled them off the smoker. It's time to get them wrapped. So what I've done here, as you can see, is I've put what is equivalent to one stick of butter on each, a sprinkle of um, brown sugar, and a little bit of honey. Okay, so what we're gonna use for my secret ingredient today that I'm hoping to get this garlic Parmesan taste from is from these, it's a, a garlic Parmesan sauce from Buffalo Wild Wings. Uh, I'm just gonna give this a try and see if it works and see if we get the flavor we're looking for. So I am gonna add some of this to the wrap. So we're just gonna go squirt it on down here. I'm pretty liberal with it. And then we're going to take my ribs, we're going to put them face down, and then we're going to wrap them. So that's perfect. And then for the other ones, we're going to try this Blue Hogs barbecue that I got for my birthday. And this stuff is very vinegary. So it's gonna run like crazy. So we'll just uh, pour it on here. Give it a little squirt. Drop my ribs down, face down. And I'm gonna put a little bit on the back too here. Excellent. Wrap them up. We're gonna put them back on the smoker at 300 degrees, same temperature, for roughly an hour and 15 minutes because we're doing them a little more tender today. We're gonna to try to reach about 207, 208. And that's, I think it's gonna take about an hour and 15 minutes in total, but we'll see. All right, so I'm gonna put these back on right now. All right, so I just pulled them off. It was about an hour 20 in total for this last little bit. You can see the bone pull away here. This actually isn't the, uh, Garlic, garlic Parmesan ribs. These are just the barbecue ribs. So I'm going to pull those back up. Let's take a look at the garlic Parmesan and see how it's doing. Well, we got some nice bone pulled away there as well. Looking good. They were all clocking in around 206, 207. So I'm just going to get the juice out of here and then let's sauce them up and put them back on the smoker. All right, so I just want to show the difference between 203 and 207. So 203, your ribs are still, they're tender, but they're still on the, little, on the stiff side. But these are good. Like I could play the accordion with these. Like they are just ready to bend and break. So that's the big difference between those two. So now what I'm going to do is we're going to flip them over. Tender as I can because they're ready to fall apart. I'm going to make a nice little gravy boat here. Those look gorgeous. They smell great. I think this is actually going to work out this recipe. I'm pretty excited to try it. So let's get this on here. Slather some of this on. A little bit more. Perfect. So now this is going to go back on the barbecue for just 10 minutes. We're going to let this just kind of coat, get on there, harden up, and it'll be much nicer to eat. And I'm going to do the same with my barbecue ribs, and I'll see you when those 10 minutes are up. Okay, so they were on there for 10 minutes. I've just pulled them off. Barbecue sauce looks really good. It's just, it's really melted on, uh, melted on there and it's ready to go. But I got to let them rest for about 15 minutes before we cut them. They're a little too hot to cut right now. But that Parmesan, garlic Parmesan smells really, really good. The barbecue ones are beautiful, gorgeous red color on them. So we're not going to look at these ones. We're just going to look at the garlic parm because that's what we're doing today. So I'm just going to move these ones to the side and then we'll let it rest. We're going to let everything rest for 15 minutes and then we're going to cut them up and try.
All right, they've rested. I've sliced them up and as you can see, I added a little bit of Parm cheese. Hopefully the barbecue association won't throw me in jail for that one, but I, I thought, hey, it's garlic Parmesan. Let's put some Parmesan cheese on there. Let's give them a try. You can see the juice just flowing off this one. Looks really good. Not bad at all. I actually enjoyed that. It tastes really good. It's tender. It's juicy. The garlic really pops out. That wing sauce actually works really well on here. I'd say this is a winner. I do. I, this is a new recipe for me. One that I just came up with myself and I would do this again and again and again. This is actually delicious and I'm actually shocked because I thought at the end of this video I'd be saying, oh, this didn't work out. But <laughs> this actually worked out. I'm Greg from Stewie's Barbecue, and if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you want to know when I drop any more videos, hit that notifications button, and I'll see you in the next video.